You know, in the Word of God, musical instruments prophesy, so you always want to listen when there's an instrument going on, just as you listen when there's a tongues message happening, because you can hear the voice of God. And the Lord is saying, I have been waiting for you. I have been waiting to mention you in days ahead. How you move today is how I will mention you in days ahead, saith the Lord. So I say, there is a narrow way through that place that you are looking at, and there is a crack that is already formed. Go through, for I am waiting to mention how you overcame and how you went through. And if you go through, the great cloud of witnesses will shout over your victory. Now, my favorite picture of chaos is a clothes dryer. You look in the little window in the door, and everything is swirling. From time to time, you catch a glimpse of a pair of socks or a pant leg or a shirt tail. But it's a jumble, and it's all swirling together. And sometimes you feel like your life is like that. Satan always wants to keep you in chaos. Now, the opposite of chaos is expressed by words like calm, harmony, order, peace, normality, and quiet. And there's a Hebrew word that expresses those same things, and it's the word shalom. Shalom means peace, wholeness, and well-being. It includes health, prosperity, security, and tranquility. Now, the Hebrew language gives some interesting insights into the meaning of shalom. Uh, in its comment on Psalm 3414, the Passion Bible points out that if you look at the pictographic symbols that make up the Hebrew word shalom, what it, reads, what it says is this, destroy the authority that binds to chaos. So shalom destroys the authority that binds us to chaos. The word shalom is derived from the verb uh, shalom, which means to restore. It means to provide what is needed to make someone whole and complete. So when shalom comes, chaos is broken. And see, Satan always wants to promote chaos. The good news is we have a God who can break the power of chaos. God always wants to break us out of chaos and bring us into his shalom.